Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the A4E Skyhawk. We're on version 2.0.0. It's mid-February 2021. We have a revised cold start and taxi tutorial. Helping me out is Cortana. Say hello Cortana. Hey Cap, how's it going? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So, first thing we're going to do is turn on the ground power. I'm going to show you the buttons of how to do that. You're going to use the communication menu, which is that one there. Communications menu, ground crew at the top right here, where my cursor is ground electric power on, Chief, turn on the ground power. and wait Copy. when it's on and when the plane is ready and accepts that it's on we'll have a light come on here before we ground proceed power is now on. so continue to wait even though he said that the ground power there we go the lights on now we're ready to go next we are going to press the starter button that's that one there one click with a left click and wait now we're going to monitor taco which is in percent here of the engine once it's past five percent like it is now right click once on the throttle into ignition position next wait until the taco goes above 15 percent and another right click on the throttle into idle position now it will spool all the way up to about 55 percent where that red marker is and it will hold there. Next, while it's busy doing that, we can move to our left hip and we've got some switches. The radar, we can put it in standby mode with right click once, standby. Also, angle of attack comp here, turn it on with a right click. Next, AFCS, we're going to turn this knob here or this switch to standby, right click. Next, oxygen, this guy here, right click to oxygen. We will come back to the AFCS a bit later next to the navigation system the master mode knob here right click once to standby next radio that's this guy here master knob here we're going to go right click twice to transmit receive and monitor guard next our tacan here our master knob left click right click right click to whoops transmit receive sorry my track i was going funny next interior lights set them as you wish i'm going to turn my instruments on turn my consoles on and i'm going to put a flood on because i can next ground power is going to go off so communications menu ground crew ground electric power off, turn off the ground power. wait for this uh, funny little uh, ignition system to disappear there it goes next we're going to rearm to get to the armament menu that there so armament I'm just going to arm with it. just a couple of very small things really quick that that'll do. So note that my engine is on, my canopy is up, okay. Request rearming. Copy. While he's rearming we can skip ahead and we can put the canopy down. Left control and C, left control and Charlie, canopy down. Next, flaps to half 50% position. We can monitor the flaps condition there. So our flaps down, button push and hold to half there next pitch trim we can monitor it with this gauge here we want it between six and eight degrees depending on our weight as we're going to be very lightly loaded we're going to put it just a smidgen over six degrees for takeoff trim next back to the afcs our stability augmentation switch on right click also our radar radar altimeter on left click Next, think about our exterior lights. So this is going to depend on your condition, but we've got from taxi light here all the way down to the end of this panel here to set your lights up. And then we will be ready to taxi. So to steer the aircraft, and this has changed a little how this works recently, we're going to push and hold nosal steering to be able to activate nosal steering. However, be super careful because it's, it is incredibly easy to tip your plane over. If you want to just taxi in front of me, Cortana, and just kind of do some... Just do some turns, so I just want to see how kind of narrow your see how narrow the the Friendly. undercarriage is, is there. So she's going to use the nose wheel steering to steer when very slow, and then if she wants to steer kind of above 15 knots, she's actually going to use her differential wheel braking, which we now have in this latest version. With the differential wheel braking, you can't really knock the plane over, can't tip it over, but you can with the nose wheel steering. So let me just go and do that myself. Nose wheel steering, press and hold. Like thus. And that's about the maximum I would ever want to travel in terms of speed. Otherwise, we're going to tip over and we're going to get awfully frustrated. If we're going to go any faster than that, we're going to use our differential uh, toe brakes down there. Like if we're taking off, for instance, and we need to change left or right and we don't have rudder authority, uh, we can use that. Um, that's as far as we go with this video. Anything to add, Cortana? I think that's all I've got.
I hope you enjoyed it and see you later.